Hey guys, this is Luke with Subaru Only, and today I'm going to start assembling a set of these Subaru Forester heads. Uh, in my last video, I talked about polishing the exhaust valves so that they wouldn't catch on these bronze guides. So I've gone ahead and I have done so. I've polished all these exhaust valves. You can see this one is highly polished. I removed all of the carbon deposits that was on, on the back side of the valve and on all the carbon deposits that built up on the stem of the valve. So it's pretty polished now. It's good enough. It's, I've already done two of the exhaust valves and two of the intakes here. And uh, what I'm using is this, it's a drill press, and on the drill press I've cut a little attachment and I'm using the drill press to compress the valve spring, as you can see here. So basically I'll do a little zoom in here. I'm using the drill press to compress the valve spring, and you see I like pop the retainers in, and I can set the retainers in or take the retainers out, and then set it like that. And I'll walk you through this whole setup. So in a nutshell, if you want to use a drill press to compress your valve springs, really for any engine, what you're going to want to do is figure out what degree your valves are angled at. So basically, on a Subaru engine, the valves are angled at about 23 degrees off of straight up. That's what I'm showing here with a little black mark on my finger. Okay, once you have that center line angle for your valves relative to your head surface, you take that over to your drill press right here, and you're going to tilt this surface so it's at the same angle that your valves are angled at, which is that 23 degree angle. So I'll kind of show you down here. Basically, if I was to center line this and this was perfectly flat, to go up here, it would be about 23 degrees. So this surface is about 23 degree angle. And if you have this surface at a 23 degree angle, what that makes it, what that allows it for, is that when you bring your drill press down, your drill press the apparatus and the bit is going to be perfectly parallel to that valve stem. So when you compress it, you're going to be compressing it perfectly parallel so that when you compress your spring, you don't compress it cockeyed or sideways. So you compress it straight down, you have a good controlled surface, and you compress it straight down, you're able to pull those retainers out or put new retainers in as you're assembling it, either way. So that's it, get everything lined up perfect so that nothing uh, kicks to the side or nothing's cockeyed when you're moving it up or down. All right, so now that I've walked you through how I use my drill press to compress the spring, let's actually go ahead and take a look at the heads and assemble one of these suckers. So here we go, here's one of the heads. This is a Forrester head, a 2.5 liter, and here's the fundamental parts for the valve train. Uh, you have a valve, this is your exhaust valve. The exhaust valve is a little bit smaller than the intake valve. Uh, here's your spring, right, your valve spring. You have your valve spring retainer, and you have the little keepers. That's what these little guys are. Okay, and these are the little guys, these little keepers are will lock it lock into this top little notch of your of your valve. And that's what holds the whole assembly together. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble one. Okay, so if you're gonna go ahead and assemble one of these, the first thing you wanna do is put a little drop of um, lubricant. I use red line assembly lube. You can also use just 30 weight oil. Just put a teeny little drop on the stem. The stem is what's gonna be riding in that bronze guides, and you want it to be fairly clean. So then you flip your head over. Go through your combustion chamber, look for where that guide is, slip the tip of that valve into the guide, slide it in, and there you go. Now you have the top of the valve sticking out right here. We'll go ahead and set our spring in, set our retainer on, and then we'll take this whole assembly and we'll bring this over to my drill press. Okay, as you can see, I've moved over to the drill press, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually bring this guy down and set the retainers in as it compresses the spring. All right, the trick here is to make sure that this whole thing is pretty much center line with your valve. So when you compress it, you're not binding it to the side, to the left or to the right. Uh, and so then you'll take one of your little keepers and you'll drop, drop, just drop it in on the front side. And once it drops in, you kind of slide it around with your finger, then get your other keeper, hold it in place, get the other keeper and drop the second keeper in place. Just kind of be kind of careful about it, but it'll drop in place. And then once they're both in place, you kind of slowly raise it up and voila, the keepers are locked in place and your valve spring assembly is complete. So that's pretty much how it's done. Uh, you basically take your valve, you slide it into your combustion chamber through the bronze guide. Uh, once you have that assembled, you put it on your, your uh, drill top base here uh, that's at, set at, at the 23 degree angle for Subaru heads. Uh, and then you use your little notched out socket spitting 
that I have mounted in the drill press to compress that valve spring so that I can drop the keepers in and uh, hold that retainer in place and hold that valve spring in place and hold the whole assembly together. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and button up the rest of these heads. Thanks for checking out the video. I'm Luke with Subaru Only. If you're into Subarus, you're in the right place. This is a video series on uh, doing a head gasket job on a 2.5 liter Subaru Forester engine. I also have a 94 Impreza that I'm putting a JDM STI motor in, and I have a 93 Legacy that I'm rally crossing. If you're into Subarus, keep checking out the videos. Subscribe if you're into it. I'd appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Talk to you next time.